a wonderful evening to everybody out there here in the warm world. Come to the, our next webinar about JFD Invest. Uh, my name is Stefan Frodichowski, as always, for those kind of uh, webinars. Today's topic, yeah, of course, trading and investing simplified uh, our cool trading platform for social trading. Um, today, yeah, we have the 14th of March 2019. You may realize that I'm today on a different location, different computer. I have no idea whether you can really realize that. But I'm in the headquarter of JFD today. So I'm in Ludwigsburg, Germany. And um, directly out of the headquarter, we have today's webinar. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate. Uh, just drop me a note. And you see my email address already here, uh, which is s.friedrichowski at jfdbrokers.com. Or you may ask uh, just uh, support at uh, JFD Brokers as well. So whatever you do, if you need some help, just let us know and uh, yeah, we will assist you wherever needed. JFT Invest is a quite cool trading platform for anybody. That means that you can in total, yeah, you can get a, uh, you can, you can become your own portfolio manager, which is a quite cool job. And today we have to do something like that because, um, Besides the, the standard features, like what are the highlights of last week, um, what has been the best performing strategy. And of course, we will have a look on our JFD Invest account, my personal account, uh, what kind of growth we have achieved over time uh, since six months now. Um, and I can promise already some good news there. We, we are getting closer and closer to the 50% growth uh, up to now. But today, I think, is an additional question. It's a good time for that because everybody is talking about Brexit and we have debates uh, um, every evening or even votes every evening in the British Parliament. And we have to think about are we well prepared with our portfolio, even for something like Brexit or so we have to look for that specific topic as well um, because even being a portfolio manager, we cannot say, oh, let's do absolutely nothing and more. No, we have to check whether we are still on the right page. And uh, that is something we will do today here together. And I will give you some more insight into the strategies. Finally, or oh, first, before we really start, uh, you know, the procedure I have to show that slide um, permanently everywhere we now. Our risk disclaimer, we talk about trading, we talk about trading decisions, and uh, of course, it is important to note that um, when it comes finally to your end, you do everything on your own. I think it's, as always, self-explaining, but um, yeah, it should be mentioned at least once during any webinar. So let's start with the highlights. The highlight of last week uh, was definitely uh, here is this uh, strategy, uh, which is uh, so-called FX Global Performance Strategy. It's a cool strategy. It was a high performer of last week. And you see already here on my screen the overall performance over the last um, uh, close to 12 months, um, which is outstanding. Of course, we see already some details about that strategy as well. And let me uh, yeah, stress those details as well. We have a drawdown here. At the very beginning, when we have a drawdown here, and we have had a drawdown in February as well. So of course we have drawdowns within that strategy, but that's trading. And uh, having those drawdowns is one thing, but on the other hand, yeah, we have uh, in total, I think uh, about 25% performance within one year, which is a remarkable result. And uh, we will look to that strategy later. But maybe you're the first time here and you think, hey, what's JFD Invest all about? I mean, what's really the, the overall topic of uh, JFD Invest? Let me touch that briefly here as well, um, because it's important that you can understand and that you know what kind of things you can do with uh, JFD Invest. And I should simply start maybe where you start as well, that is uh, the homepage of uh, JFD. And there we have a button which is called Just JFD Invest. And if you press that button, uh, you are directly already at JFD Invest. And first of all, before telling you a little bit more details about how it's really going on, so 
you, if you scroll down, you see some fantastic strategies all around here. So what's the first topic? It's we talk about trading strategies. And you see performing, top performing strategies already here on the first page. You see that we have strategies which aren't in total already close to 90%. And um, even um, the mentioned FX Global is here the, uh, the hit list um, on place four overall. Uh, so we are really talking about growth in those kind of strategies. But talking about those strategies is one thing, because the good thing is now that you can have full access to any of those strategies. And that means that any of those strategies can be directly copied into your personal JFD Invest account. That means all the trades are translated to your allocated money, to your um, own preferences, and that you have everything like those professional traders in your account as well. And you don't have to care about all the details, opening trades, closing trades, setting stop losses, and so on and so forth. Everything is done completely automatically. And the only thing you have to do is selection of strategies, activating, and then you can just look to the results. So that's what really is JFD Invest about. And the procedure of how to, to become part of JFD Invest is really quite easy. Uh, just four steps you have to process. And the first one is to open a JFD Invest profile, uh, which is quite easy. It's similar like opening a Facebook account. So you, you need your email address and a password, and then you get your own JFD Invest profile, and you can see some more details um, than, than a guest, what we do later as well. So then you get more familiar maybe with JFD Invest and those kind of strategies. And next step, next potential step is you open a JFD Invest account, which is a separate in, um, um, brokerage account, meaning even if you are already a client of JFD, uh, you need a different account for that purposes here, because that special account is only meant for those social trading, those copy trading activities. Uh, you, you uh, of course, you have access to that account, but you cannot trade by your own, uh, meaning you cannot open a, just a trade long Euro, US dollar and a setting stop loss. No, that's you can't do it, but um, you can copy those um, remarkable strategies into that account. And the good thing is that account is a professional account as well as you are following uh, professional traders, meaning you get a high leverage of 1 to 100 um, for that account as well. Then you connect everything and you're done. So you select your strategies, you act as a portfolio manager, and then you can see uh, hopefully some good results like I have in my JFD Invest account um, as well. Doing so, it's just easy. You can start uh, directly now, and uh, then you will see um, more details of, um, uh, about uh, JFD Invest. And uh, let me start as a guest here as well. Um, so then you are already directly in JFD Invest. And now you see, oh, no, not only five strategies, there are some more. Uh, in total, we have up to now 11 strategies at uh, JFD Invest. And uh, of course, we have the same five top performer here. And let's first start with something which maybe attract already your attention. That was the FX Global Performance Strategy, which was the outperformer of last week. And you can see here, uh, some more results about those uh, uh, about that kind of strategy. Once again, we have a picture of growth here, which is fine. But what I do here is I do a review process of existing strategies. That's maybe exactly the same you do uh, when you come to JFD Invest. That you think, okay, which one should I go for? And is performance everything? Or so should I just follow the one with the top performing strategy at all? And my personal recommendation is um, let's dig a little bit deeper into those strategies because what we are doing here is that select the process. And of course, you should only trade what fits to your preferences in terms of drawdowns, in terms of symbols. And in order to answer those kind of questions, what symbols are traded? Yeah, 
we we make all the details extremely transparent for any strategy and that's what we are doing right now here so one thing is of course growth but another thing uh, which um, I think personally is quite important as well is what's called equity balance deviation you may ask yourself what's that um, equity balance deviation is the difference between open trades and already closed trades so balance is always your your account in terms of closed trades but you may have open trades as well and those trades might be positive or might be negative as always and that kind of difference is exactly equity balance deviation so uh, or another term is that you have so-called floating losses of floating profits and um, in this case for that specific strategy okay there has been a time in november we have had high floating losses as you can see here that that bar to the sus uh, but overall looking to the complete history it's a different picture so what does it mean and why do i stress that fact here because that is something you you may realize later in your own account as well that you have those kind of floating losses and if you think it's too high okay then you would maybe go for another strategy so you can see those kind of details here as well but there are much more you have for example that kind of monthly return table um, of course all green, green numbers would be ideal but um, you see it's close to that um, there was one month with a bigger loss that was uh, february but now it's recovering uh, quite good so monthly return table is another source of information but now i mentioned brexit so it's maybe a question of what kind of symbols are traded and you may think okay let's have a look and you can see what kind of symbols are traded in this case for fx global for example we have three symbols uh, being traded which is euro us dollar british pound us dollar and us dollar japanese yen okay and now you are still involved in that kind of process setting up your portfolio you think you may think okay we have uh, ongoing brexit discussions and not only maybe for the next couple of days even for the next couple of weeks um, i don't know so i have no crystal ball to tell you the exact answer to that in this case that kind of strategy is trading simple yeah with british pound as well so you may think it's good it's not good maybe volatility is uh, getting higher over the next couple of days and weeks um whatever so you are still involved but now the good thing is you are only being involved in the procedure of what kind of strategies you want to trade and how do you manage your own risk uh, with those strategies so what you see here that we can uh, have a close look to our traded instruments and once again the question does it fit to me and in this case you see most of the trades are indeed uh, british pound us dollar so um, it's up to you to decide um, particular on that kind of question what else can we see we have some advanced uh, statistics here for for any kind of uh, uh, trading strategy so you you can go through uh, nearly everything you want to know about that kind of strategy everything is available and all the informations are absolutely transparent uh, presented here so that was one thing that we think uh, that was fx global the top performer of last week you may think okay maybe we go for a strategy uh, with uh, good results but maybe not trading british pound uh, right now and what i can tell you out of uh, so hyperion is um, trading just um, ducks and dow jones but you see okay um we have a uh, higher equity balance deviation with that kind of strategy as well okay you may think hmm, hmm, i don't want to have that galileo let's check galileo what uh, about uh, what kind of instruments are traded within galileo we see here already a growth which is really remarkable once again uh, for that strategy as well we have equity balance devi deviations okay they are not as high as uh, for the other one but still we have high in the region of 20 percent uh, here but 
again the question what kind of instruments are traded because mm, we have tough times here and see again British pound is involved as well um, and now we have just two symbols so 50 percent uh, of the symbols is uh, related to British pound here so that kind of job is really the job of a portfolio manager to 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 have an opinion should we trade that or not and let me give you an example of a strategy which is really top performing um, and having not uh, any any British pound uh, being involved so one alternative might be um, the strategy Archimedes, uh, which is doing a good job in terms of performance, which is doing a brilliant job in terms of equity balance deviation. So the floating losses are now, yeah, even not exceeding 5%, which is really a brilliant result. So our view to equity balance deviation uh, looks pretty well. Um, and what about traded instruments for that kind of strategy? Uh, let's have a look to that as well. And now you will see, okay, the majority of all trades is Euro, Polish, Slotty. Uh, okay, there's, there have been sweet trades with British Pound, but um, um, since I, I have a view on that strategy, there has been no trade anymore on British pound, US dollar. So that strategy might be a good alternative in, in those times um, about uh, all the Brexit discussions. So that might be an option for your portfolio as well. Let's have a look to other details we need to know before we can finally decide whether we want to follow that kind of strategy. Let's have a look to the details here. So there we have some additional good information for you. You can see how many traders are following uh, that kind of strategy. So we have 12 traders following. Total investment sum on that strategy is exceeding 40k up to now. And we see one number which is finally really important if you think about following that kind of strategy. That's what's called the minimum investment sum. That means we cannot go here with a number less than 3k. So we need at least 3k um, in order to follow that kind of strategy. So let's review my personal JFD Invest account because um, I mentioned uh, we, we are going north, north, north. So I do that step and show you some more details about JFD Invest as well. So let me log in into my account and that's exactly the same kind of steps you would do if you um, are investing in JFD Invest. Uh, yeah, so I log into my JFD Invest account. So you see that's uh, in principle we have the same kind of information here available. If I press find strategy we have exactly the same page. But now what you're uh, seeing here first is my personal JFD Invest account. And I'm following up right now, as we speak, five strategies. And what you see here is the performance of my portfolio. Okay, let's review that first before we go into other details here as well. You see, we started in September, end of December, uh, September, sorry. And so in total, we have um, yeah, close to seven months uh, up to now. And overall, I have a performance, a return of 44%. So I'm on the all-time high here uh, as we speak. And that's a really a very good result. And now you may ask, hey, isn't there a mistake here? You see, okay, my account started at 10K and now I'm a little bit above 13K. And we have a return of 44%. Hmm. Isn't there anything missing? Yes, there is something missing. But we haven't talked about up to now about there is a performance fee involved as well. So if you follow a strategy that does not involve directly any cost, so we don't have anything like a management fee or something similar to that. No, what we have is a so-called performance fee. But that means only if you do if we really do profits, then we have to pay something. And the, the amount we have to pay here is 25% of the profits. You may think, hey, isn't that high? 
Mm -hmm. uh, you can see what are the details. So up to now, yes, I still have earned more than 3K um, within six months, which is, uh, I think, a good story. Okay, I have paid about 1K uh, performance fee, and even I have to pay that, as you can see here. Um, but anyhow, still I have more than 30% uh, earned. And the other good thing about performance fee is it's high watermark. High watermark means, in, in, in short, that you only have to pay fees if you reach new highs for a given strategy. And that is always uh, related to the month's end. Only if we reach, for a given strategy, new highs on a month's end base, then, um, yeah, there's a performance fee being involved. Anyhow, sometimes I say, I'm, I'm glad to pay that kind of fees because, on the other hand, <laughs> I have earned a lot of money. So, um, those 3K compared to 4K, I can live with that because I still have earned 3K. And as you know, that a couple of weeks ago, I have been on holidays and yeah, that have been a part of my payment for my holiday. Um, no, I, I think it was already exceeding. Anyhow, so that's my account. But now you may be interested in what kind of strategies I'm investing as we speak. So those five are my personal selection um, here. You see, I follow PowerFX, Archimedes, as I mentioned, uh, Volcano, Goldmine, and Ballads. And I want to get back to the question, is that good balanced in terms of looking for anything about Brexit, so British pound? Um, since I know and I have done that kind of review process, uh, process here exactly because of that, uh, I can tell you, okay, Archimedes, we have seen Volcano is just trading um, Australian dollar against the Canadian dollar, so there's uh, no conflict. Um, Balance is uh, not trading any British pound. Goldmine, yes, but only one out of ten. Um, or maybe two um, symbols are with British pound. So it's already a portfolio in itself. Um, so I don't have see any big risks there. And uh, PowerFX, yes, it's trading British pound, but with so-called power candles. And it's trading on a D1 base. So there, I think, is not a big risk being involved. So my current allocation is already set in a way that I'm not um, too heavily being invested in any British pound related stuff. So it looks like I'm well prepared for whatever uh, happened during the next couple of days or even weeks and even months. Um, we don't know about uh, that. So I'm well prepared. Since I want to share one additional thing here uh, that you can see how easy it is to follow any strategy, let me let me just um, take an example. Um, since we are not invested in Eurodream, let's have first uh, a look to that kind of strategy. Okay, in total it has earned um, well close to one year, uh, close to 10%, which is even fine as well. Uh, not that bad. Okay, we have some drawdowns as well. But what if you want to follow that kind of strategy? I can tell you that strategy is chip trading, euro, US dollar only, and nothing else. So no British pound is being involved. And the only thing I have to do is I press a button follow, and then I have to allocate money for that strategy. That strategy starts with uh, 500 euro. So, and I have still available more than 3K. So it's not easy, uh, it's absolutely easy for me to follow that strategy if I would like to do it as we speak. Um, and indeed, I want to. I want to invest 1K into that uh, strategy. And um, that's all we have to do, 1K. And then we can set another button here, risk management. What does it mean? Risk managers, management is meant, and I accept the button here, that I can have an automatic stop out of a given strategy. That means, for example, if I put that um, button here to 50%, it would mean if that strategy in my account would lose 
500 euro because 50 percent of 1k strategy would automatically be being stopped out meaning all to open trades are closed and i'm out you may think is that good or not hmm. at least it's something you can think about that you have that kind of, of uh, risk protection uh, as well so you can activate whenever you like um, in my case I would even go here for 100% because I'm willing to, to have 1k on risk, but it's, it's up to you. It's your personal decision. So that's all we have to do. Exacting terms and conditions. That means, uh, for example, um, this a performance fee and so on, and then just starting. And that's all. Now we have started uh, to follow a new strategy. You're doing trading Euro, US dollar and process has been done successfully so we get that kind of confirmation here as well brilliant so now we are back with six strategies in uh, my personal JFD invest account and uh, get another confirmation here and yeah let's see how we can uh, move forward here and uh, you see my results up to now are really uh, remarkable uh, earning yeah more than 3k in, in um, six months with 10k investment, which is more than 30 percent. Um, I don't think that's a good return, and um, yeah, I hope I can follow that kind of slope here. Um, maybe I will be a little bit uh, less risk feeling here uh, over the next uh, couple of months. Let's see, but, but after now, it, it will be a brilliant result, uh, I can tell you. If you want to do similar steps, just, just, just open your, your JFD invest account as well and then access to the pool manager as I do here. And it's, it's ex extremely easy and convenient uh, to, uh, do that, to do that uh, uh, because it's really to both select, select, follow, follow, and, and uh, uh, do the allocation, allocation process. But I would recommend always, always just, get, just go into those, into those strategies, strategies of the your own your preferences, preferences the, the thing that's about, about kind of a of our own willing to accept and, and all those kinds of questions. questions. And then, and then we, we, we can do the selection action for your own JFD account account. And hopefully, you have your several results like I have here. Okay, that's for this week. Next week, I'm back in the next week. Okay, okay, that's for this week. Next week, next week, I'm back in the next week. Great, great, well, I love that we were doing things where we come from from my location uh, uh, and uh, uh, I hope I hope that we are still in frame with our, our JFT investment account. I can I can not promise anything but it looks good. Okay, okay. Have a nice evening. Enjoy, enjoy and uh, see you next week. Bye bye. Bye bye.